Next pass, we should have fire on the ground. With assistance from the New Jersey State Forestry Services, U.S. Forest Service, and international researchers from countries like the United Kingdom and Russia teamed up to collect data from a prescribed burn at simulated conditions seen in wildfires. The fire's embers, more commonly known as firebrands, were one important aspect of the study. You see the fire getting channeled up the tree, um, and you can see all of the, the embers and everything that are, that are sort of exiting that, that system right there and flying up into the atmosphere. Here is what the embers looked like from one of several infrared video cameras that were placed at the burn site. That's what catches roofs on fire, gets sucked into attic vents and things like that. They can also participate to the fire dynamics and accelerate the fire and make it more dangerous even for the firefighters. Shortly after the fire passed through the area, you want to see these ones? Researchers were quick to visit several ember collection sites. Yes, we're very happy because uh, we got exactly the collection of firebrands we wanted to have. Researchers also took advantage of this project to analyze the smoke. So we like to be able to tell people and predict uh, smoke behavior, the transport, and what's in the smoke. Researchers also collected information about the winds, fuels, and fire behavior within the fire and fire area. And this is the three-dimensional wind speed sensor that runs at 10 times per second. They are confident this project will generate some guidance on how people can better protect themselves and their property from wildfires. In the meantime, one of the firefighters on this project has a message for homeowners. Be careful. I've lived in the woods all my life, and it only takes a little mistake. In Warren Grove, New Jersey, I'm Gary Chancy, reporting for the U.S. Forest Service Northern Research Station.